Alexa and Destiny from Shots of Sunset. Behind the bar, it's James Mansfield and Layla McQueen from RuPaul's Drag Race and RuPaul's Drag Con. And how exciting that Ru won an, uh, her second Emmy last so night. Cool. Yeah. Um, let's go back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? My name's Danielle. Hey, Danielle, what's your I'm question? Calling. So, Andy, I have to tell you, I love you. I need to give a shout out from I Dog Memphis, Your Dog Walk. Oh, thank you. And my question is awesome. Hi. When you announced your pregnancy, I was so, and everyone that I know was so for you. However, when MJ her pregnancy, will you be better than but? Will you treat MJ better than she treated you relating to your pregnancy? If I see her, yes. But very, very honestly, I, I, I don't want MJ anywhere near my life, so I don't think I'll be there when she's pregnant. But if I saw her when she's pregnant, of course I would, because when you're pregnant, you, you don't want any of those that bad, bad energy going to your baby, and that's what happens. You know. Back to the phones. Call her. What's your name, and from where are you calling? Hi, my name is Kathy. Hi, guys. I like your hey, voice. Kathy. Hey, Kathy. I'm from Ohio. Okay, Kathy, what's your question? I would like to know how Asa and Destiny feel about MJ li living in the same complex with her mother. <laughs> I think it's probably not a great idea. <laughs> uh, probably not. No, no, bad idea, bad. Back to the phones. Call her what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, Charmaine Dunn from Lansing, Michigan. Hey, Charmaine, what's your question? Hi, um, I wanted to ask Destiny how come she rolled her eyes also when Asa was answering the question you asked about her and Charmaine living together. Oh, you rolled your eyes when I asked Asa about her and Jermaine living together. Well, it wasn't a roll of my eyes. It was more kind of like, okay, let's see what's going to you know, be the answer, like what's really going on. Rolling your eyes, honey, is more like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get the eyes right. <laughs> Last call of the night. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? Danita from North Carolina. Hey, Danita, what's your question? I like your um, name. Asa, uh, when you came back from Israel, you sat down at dinner with your mom and dad, and you blatantly told them that none of your friends were there to support you, yet through the entire episodes of Israel, your friends were often there to support you, to help you carry bags, Reza, your so best glad you friend, to check on you. Actually, Why would you tell your parents such a lie? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Actually, what I was saying to them, and this was um, edited, this is not what happened, what I was saying to them is that, you know, somebody called my unborn son a bastard child and not one person stood up for me. That's what I was talking about. I wasn't talking about somebody holding my bag. I could care less or helping me out of the car. It's like, that's the most evil thing that's ever happened to me and not one person at that table, my friends, got up and said, you know what, enough is enough, that's just wrong. That's what I was talking about. I wasn't talking about bags or There were moments or... where we did say stuff and you just weren't around um, because there's no point of Destiny, feeding we're all the sitting... fire. At that moment, I didn't say sh sh We're all shit. sitting having dinner, your friend is pregnant and somebody says bastard child, that's the time to get up and say, you know what, dude, that's, that's too much. What do you mean when I wasn't around? That's the time when you Honestly, say it. I don't even think I was in that dinner conversation. I'm I'm talking about Israel too when you guys had that whole talk. There are moments where we've spoken to MJ separately. Like she knows that that was wrong calling someone, you know, someone's baby a bastard child. Like what's wrong with she this? She also came knows on end that, show like 2 weeks, few weeks ago and she was like, "No, has she learned her lesson?" Baby. So to answer your question, this is what I was talking about. So it, you know, this this whole season was really messed up for me. It was really really painful and hurtful. And um you know, it took a toll even on my body. You'll see later on this season, I was put on bed rest, you know. Every time we would shoot, my, I would start contracting. And oh, God. The, no, and, and to the point, and, and I'm 40. I'm 41 now, but my doctor was like, she's like, no more, the emotional stress was crazy. And so I had to just pull away. It was too toxic. I want to thank Asa and Destiny. I'm glad, and thank God everything worked out. And James Mansfield and Layla McQueen from RuPaul's Strike Ground. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.